apron and a large group of Brahmini kites looking for prey in the salty water. Kites are often scavengers, foraging both over water and land, feeding on dead fish and crabs. But occasionally, they hunt live prey, such as hares or bats. When fishing, they don't dive. Prey on the water surface is snatched with their talons. At the intersection of land and sea, mangrove forests support a wealth of life and may be more important to the health of the planet than we previously realized. nursery grounds for a wide range of microbes, invertebrates, and crabs. The mangrove swamp ecosystem feeds fish and shrimps, wading birds, and the long-tailed maca or crab-eating macaque. Although the macaque feeds on crabs, it is also known to eat almost 200 different types of plants and fruits, helping the forest to regenerate and keep its fragile balance. The macaque knows exactly where to look for prey. Sometimes, it even cleans off. A youngster seems to have invented its own fitness machine. Another youngster wants to join in. The inevitable fight that follows is quickly resolved by the alpha male. Long-tailed macaques are social animals. They live in groups of 15 to 30 individuals. The female gives birth to only one infant at a time. Their social structure and behavior are almost as complex as humans. Each group, the troop, is made up of a dominant alpha male, his harem of female monkeys and their babies. Being strongly territorial, the gibbon family defend its boundaries, warding off fellow gibbons with vigorous visual and vocal displays. A male gibbon competitor has penetrated the alpha male territory in search of food. The alpha male, not only protecting his territory, but also his mate and newborn baby, frightens the intruder, chasing it away from his family's feeding grounds. Meanwhile, a female intruder sees a chance of getting a piece of the cake. Returning from his chase, the alpha male immediately goes after the new intruder.
Another predator is climbing the fruitful fig trees, a binturong. Cautiously, the female gibbon tries to lure this Asian bear cat away. It is too big a handful for her, so she leaves this job to her mate. The male gibbon and the bear cat challenge each other's patience. Finally, the gibbon male decides to retreat, out of reach of the bear cat, only to scare away yet another intruder, the great hornbill. Busy day, time for some family reunion in the forest camp. 